Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing well. My name is Tharn. I'm starting my new YouTube channel today for electronic beginners. And I'm going to be doing a series of tutorials on Arduino and different electronics projects which are cool and will help you learn electronics better along the line. Now I am le uh, learning them myself and once I've seen something that's successful in a project I'll, I'll review it along with you guys and walk you through on how you can do, do it yourself. Okay, today I'm going to be reviewing my first product that I did myself. This is an LM386N audio amplifier circuit that I made myself. This audio amplifier circuit uses the LM386 uh, ICs, IC chip. Uh, now if you don't know about this chip, it's widely used in many stereo uh, systems today in speakers and in laptops and different things today um, it's very good at amplifying sound very commonly available in Amazon and uh, many other electronics retailers now this IC chip has 8 pins this one has an operating voltage of 9 volts I believe I'm not wrong and I'm using a bench power supply to power the circuit up. Now before I get into this, I'm going to quickly walk you guys through the schematic of the circuit. Here I've got the schematic. Once this is done, I'll sh uh, once I explain you guys about this, I'll show you the breadboard hood setup that I did. Okay, so here we got the LM386 audio amplifier IC chip. I've got all the, gr all the pins are grounded here two four and seven but seven needs an hundred microfarad electrolytic capacitor in between to reduce power supply noise there now to reduce noise from the power supply I'm using a 2200 microfarad electrolytic capacitor here connect in parallel with the voltage and G ground now keep in mind if you're using a 9 volt battery to power the circuit up it isn't an advisable method of powering it up because it can drain a 9 volt battery very quick. I'll show you why in a second once we get to the perf board setup. And here the audio input is used, uh, the negative terminal will be grounded of the audio input. Now you, I'm using a 3.5mm audio jack right here, which is this type has five pins but you pretty much just need one audio output terminal and I'm using the right one here one will one end will be grounded and the other end will go to the potentiometer right here pin one is connected to the positive side of the audio input pin two will be connected to a 1k resistor and go straight to pin three of the IC circuit and pin three will just connect to the common ground here now the 1k resistor will uh, use a stereo to mono conversion and I d did some research online and it shows that this is probably the best conversion and it makes the audio quality much uh, more rectified. Pin 2 goes to ground. Now here I've already explained to you guys about the power supply re uh, noise reduction using the 2200 microfarad capacitor. Now. You can go for a 100 microfarad capacitor if you wish, but the higher the capacitance, the lower the noise will be. And next, uh, pin 5 will be connected to speakers. And I'm using a 100 microfarad capacitor is the bare minimum that should be used to protect your speakers. Now in parallel to this, I'm using a 100 nanofarad capacitor. One end will be just connected to the parallel branch of this so the current can flow to flow into this direction and one end will simply just be grounded. Now you can use any sort of capacitor you wish. You can use a 0.1 microfarad uh, electrolytic capacitor or a 100 nanofarad uh, ceramic disk capacitor. Any type, the capacitance value is the same. Uh, so it doesn't make, make a difference to be honest. Now here's the, from the negative end terminal of the capacitor, it goes to the spe speaker's positive terminal and the other ends will just be grounded. And you can just go with a single speaker if you wish, but if you want another speaker attached with this for a more amplified sound, you can use another speaker in parallel with this. 
where the positive tunnel will be he uh, made a parallel connection there on the other end on the other end will be grounded normally so now that we've taken a look at the schematic let's move on and i'll show you the connections i made on the breadboard here okay i made the connections as uh, mentioned in the schematic i've got i'm got my audio jack hooked up here so that's there. there. I'm using the uh, right end of the audio jack to go to the potentiometers pin 1. Pin 2 goes straight to the pin 3 of the IC itself and the other end will simply just be grounded. Now I'd recommend uh, uh, establishing VCC and GND on both sides from the pos common terminal. Now this is to adjust volume and the potentiometer can as the potentiometer is turned towards the right, the volume will increase and towards the left will cause it to decrease. I got my 2200 uh, microfarad electrolytic capacitor here, rated at 25 volts. Now be mindful when you're using electrolytic capacitors, you have to attach them in the correct direction because polarity does matter or else you'll end up damaging the dielectric in between and cause holes and cause electrons to jump straight over which isn't very good now here i've got here i'm just using a single uh capacitor here the 1000 microfarad capacitor and you can just connect any sort of speaker that you want here the positive end goes to the negative uh, negative end of the capacitor from pin 8 and the other end goes to g and d like that and as you can see, I got a 0.1 microfarad ceramic disc capacitor here, and it's hooked in parallel with this. I've got the common VCC there, and I've got my 100 microfarad, uh, microfarad capacitor right here, attached to pins, um, pin 7 on the IC. So that's uh, the simple hookup that you want to do on the breadboard. Works fairly well, with, uh, and you can just connect a second speaker to the same positive rail of the capacitor and it will uh, further amplify the sound if you wish to use two speakers. Now you can stop here and just um, call it quits on the project if, if once it works and you're satisfied with it or you can make a circuit on the perf board here. Oops, one second. Now it's connected the exact same way. Now I'm going to show you, show you guys this in show you the functionality of this in a second the connections are made exactly the same I'm just using two headphones that are the, from a broken headphones now you can use any sort of speaker you want but just make sure it's above 0.5 uh, watts which should uh, amplify your volume pretty well now I'm, I just added a simple slide switch here so that I can turn it on and off and an LED indicator and everything else is exactly the same and I've made the connections as seen down here. The connections are exactly the same. Now I've got it hooked up to a bench power supply here of 9 volts. And I'm going to show you guys now why you can't, uh, why it isn't the best option to power this from 9 volt battery. But first, I'm going to turn the circuit on. There we go. You guys can see it. the LED is glowing, which means which is indicating that it's turned on. Right now, it's at uh, seven milliamps, which isn't a lot of current draw, current drawing from the power supply. But now I'm gonna connect volume. I'm gonna play it. I hope you're hearing the sound. Now at the lowest volume, it's still pretty much the same. If I turn up the volume.
turn that off. Yeah, as you guys were seeing on the power supply, a higher volume, it was drawing nearly around 60 milliamps of current, which can drain a 9 volt battery very, very quickly. So I'd recommend using some sort of power supply to power it from mains instead, if you wish. Or you can connect it to a 9 volt battery, but it will be drained very quickly. So keep that in mind. I'm just going to turn it off. So I'm just going to quickly demonstrate the speakers at full volume again, once, one, once more. Okay, so that was the speakers at full volume. I'm just using an aux cable to connect it from the audio jack to my phone. So yeah, it can amplify the room pretty well. You can use any sort of speaker that you want pretty much for higher wattage, but be be mindful if you're using uh, speakers with low watt, low watts, then there can, there can be a lot of disturbance from the power supply at max volume. So I'd recommend somewhere around a bit, a bit of a lower volume range to prevent draining the power supply very quick as well. But anyways, that's uh, everything that I got to share with you on my audio amplifier circuit. Stay tuned on my channel for new videos on Arduino and other electronics products. Please leave a thumbs up on my video and do subscribe to my channel. Thank you. See ya.